Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kendra Nicole here with a new video for you guys. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, it's always nice to see you guys. So this video is basically part two to my venture with these micro links for, you know, myself. I suffer with traction alopecia hair loss. And I'm also I've also been sponsored by Better Link to put these videos together for you guys. So shout out to Better Link for sponsoring your girl and these next coming videos. So today is wash day, and this is the first time I'll be washing the links. Um, in my hair since installing them I believe it's almost over a month and I decided to add this as a part of maintenance in this video and record it for you guys I'm starting off on detangled hair I section out my hair in two going down the middle and then breaking it up into sections on each side so this is what it looks like detangled next I'm just gonna dampen my hair get it all wet I know you guys think like girl stop lying that's all you I wish I wish I could finesse you guys too but it's really not my hair it's the people that I'm here and then I'm just gonna go in with my shampoo you can use any shampoo of your desire whatever you use on your natural hair I would say you could use it on uh, with your extensions for wash day and I'm basically focusing on the scalp at first I'm going in I'm sectioning it out adding some shampoo to my scalp and I'm rubbing it in not using my fingernails I'm really just using like the skin part of my fingers I don't know what that part is called guys like I, I, I barely paid attention in school so don't come for me I'm being very honest with you guys but don't get it twisted because I'm very smart um, so yeah I'm just focusing on getting the shampoo in between my scalp you guys I'm not gonna lie I was very nervous and scared what it would be like when you know once I got the hair wet and shampooing and all these type of like stuff I was very nervous but overall I have to admit it really was an easy wash day like the only thing that felt different was the links in between my fingertips because you know our natural hair it doesn't have like beads at the scalp right that's the only difference but besides that it felt it felt no different than if I was washing my actual hair um, the only con I would say like that I noticed for me personally was when I was rinsing out my hair on my right side which is the side where I um, struggle with hair loss and my that side is more tender is that when once my hair was wet when I was rinsing out the water it felt heavier and it felt like it was kind of pulling so I did have to like pull my hair up or hold the hair up with on my right side to kind of like not allow it to like weigh down so much with the water because listen I'm not trying to come out of this hairstyle with more ball patches like no it's not happening so pretty much like I mentioned I'm just I'm just focusing the first wash on the scalp and the cleanliness of the scalp. And if you notice, I'm not being rough with the hair. I'm not, I'm not like scrunching it up all together. I'm really just washing it in its natural state. However, the hair falls, if it's falling like down, as you can see, like I'm keeping it, I'm washing it in the same direction that the hair is like in, if that make any sense. And then after that, I'm just going to go in with some more shampoo and really like do the, the mid shaft to the ends of the hair with the shampoo just to make sure it's cleansed. I'm going to go underneath and do all of that. I have to say, what's another pro that I have to say? Um, I didn't lose any links throughout the wash and also didn't use conditioner. So you're not going to see me condition my hair. I put in a leave-in conditioner afterwards when I'm blow drying the hair. You can use a leave-in conditioner of your choice, one that has already worked for you and your natural hair. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Like, guys, look how, yo, you don't know how mad I am that I can't finesse y'all, making y'all believe this is my real hair. Like, guys, wow. I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. I really thought it would be a challenge. I really thought that the hair would, like, somehow like mat all together and create dreads and in some parts you're gonna see like it looks like it's doing that but it really doesn't it really is it really doesn't it's really just easy to upkeep no more excuses guys if you guys have a pool you guys want to invite me i am coming i am there we can we can do it i am now available to jump in any and every pool summer is not over yet invite me i'll be there water over my head, I'm under the water, all types of things with a mermaid style. Thanks. I don't know if I meant.
extension, but sectioning your hair is your best friend throughout every process with extensions as it is with your natural hair. Um, so to blow dry my hair, I'm using my blow dry brush, which guys, magnifique. And I'm also going in with my blow dryer with the extra piece at the end that you guys will see. I'm not quite sure of the name, but that's really to go in between um, the rows and really dry the roots of my hair where the lengths are because you do not, I repeat, I emphasize, I underline in full, you do not want to leave that part of your hair wet. So what I did was, you guys saw me, I used a heat protectant. Um, and then I also went in with a leave-in conditioner. You can choose a leave-in conditioner of your choice just so that your hair, you know, is well taken care of while these things are in because like I said, um, before installing it and while it's installed, it's highly recommended that you don't put, you know, like anything to have your links slip out of your hair. So I didn't put much besides the heat protectant and the leave-in conditioner. Um, and that's pretty much what it is. As you, as I would my normal hair, I start from the ends and I go up the hair shaft. And that is just, you know, basic hair knowledge. If you're into hair, we already know why that's important. So I'm not going to go into details about that. Um, I, I, I was nervous as well with that with blow drying my hair. One link did fall out. I'm not going to lie to you guys, but this is a maintenance video. So there were a couple of links that were kind of like... Um, growing out because my roots were growing out. So I'm also going to show you guys how I retightened the lengths of my hair, just like on two or three. I'm going to show you guys, but um, that's all a that's all a process of main main main. No, oh, wow, wow, guys, my words. That's all a process of maintenance of maintenance of of maintaining this hairstyle. It took me a while to get that whole sentence together, guys. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> Wow, really wow. Um, when I use this blow dryer to get into the roots, I alternated between very, like, you know, like the hot, warm, and like, you know, cool uh, transitioning. Just because, you know, when it was really, really hot, it would kind of like heat up the beads and that was heating up my scalp. So I was just like, ouch. Um, but I just alternated between like the three different heat levels. And um, it didn't take me that long to blow dry the hair. It was a very easy process overall. I'm very impressed with how um, easy the maintenance was. And I need to add in that the hair itself remained so soft. I feel like it's even, no, it is softer than when I now installed it the first time. Like, it just feels like butter. Like real butter. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I'm trying to think, this, was there any cons during blow drying? No, no, like with the blow dry brush, that makes it so much more easier. Um, I'm really trying to think. No, maintenance, maintenance is very easy. Like, sometimes you look at something and think, like, damn, that's gonna, that's a hard task, it's a hard challenge. But trying it out and like doing this for you guys, I realized, like, this is it for me. This is the go to hairstyle for me, and so far, so good. So, next up on my channel, I will be doing a styling video, so look out for that. Uh, my birthday is coming up, so I'm gonna try to do my hair for my birthday. Really telling you guys my genuine feelings about these extensions and how well, you know, how well it's been going for me. Um, you know, it looks like my hair is matting, it looks like it's dreading up, but it's really not. So, basically, once my hair is all blow dried and the roots are crisp not crisp but you know what I'm saying I'm just gonna go in section by section and anyone any link that you know my root has you know outgrown I'm just going back in with the same pliers that I used to lock the extension in my hair I'm just loosening it out removing the link um, reshaping the link back to how it was re I don't even know what this word is called for this motion right here but y'all see what I'm saying putting the link back on um, through my hair and then adding the extension to my hair and that's pretty much it for maintaining it well for this part uh, the next part I'm just gonna show you guys what I do every night if I you know go outside and my hair is let out at nighttime this is what I do I either twist it or braid it down just to you know preserve the longevity of this hair because if you guys know and you guys have been on betterlength.com and you guys have seen the prices 
you know, you kind of want to get its money's worth. And I honestly can say just going through this wash day alone and having it in for like almost a month and it's and like it feeling newer than before, softer than before, and I'm still going to, you know, um, monitor it and observe it. I would honestly say that it is definitely worth um, the price. It is not something that like they're just saying, okay, well, they're just putting a high price for no reason. Um, so once that's done, this is what my hair looks like once I've, you know, retightened the links that were loosened. I'm just going to loosen it out for you guys so you guys can see just how beautiful this hair looks. Guys, I'm in love. This is all I ever wanted was just a nice, fluffy, full afro. Like... Am I not the happiest girl in the world right now? I am. I really am. So this is what it's looking like. And wow, I'm amazed. I'm just going to pass the blow dryer once again through my hair. Just to, like blend out the top evenly with the rest of the hair. So you don't really see like the definition of where my hair ends and when the extension starts. And yeah, no complaints guys. No complaints over here. I don't know what hairstyle to really do. Like, I have a twist out maybe in mind. But if you guys want to see me try, like, a natural hairstyle or something, just let me know down below in the comments. And, you know, I will see which one challenges me. And I will see if I have, you know, the proper products and everything to, you know, execute that for you guys in my styling video. If not, I will just stick to the basic twist out or something else and get back to you guys with part three with my journey with micro links sponsored by better length for your girl dealing with traction alopecia and hair loss all right so this is just my nighttime routine i just section out my hair once again and then i'm just going to be cutting um three parts on each side putting in some leave-in conditioner of your choice, twisting my hair down, and then slapping a bonnet on it, calling it good night. And if you notice, I didn't start to twist directly from the roots. I really kind of started like mid shaft to the ends because of the beads. I don't want it too tight on my scalp. That's going to cause my head to start hurting me. And quite frankly, I don't have time for all of that, to go through all of that at nighttime. That would just, you know, send me crazy. So I'm just, I just do either big loose doodle twists or big loose doodle braids. And that's really it. That's all. That is it for this video. Like I said, 10 on 10 for maintenance, 10 on 10 for installation. We're going to see how styling goes, if it's also going to get a 10 on 10 for me. So far, so good. It's giving, like, great results. So I can't wait to see what else, you know, what else comes of this, you know, uh, alternative hairstyle. Especially for myself, you know, like I said, I'm dealing with traction alopecia. So I'm, you know, I'm in good hopes. So once again, thank you guys so much for getting to end this video. If you guys liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, tell people who that be goes on. Leave me a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. And definitely share this video if it was helpful to you or if it can help it to someone else. I'm trying to reach more people that this can, you know, be of interest of. And stay tuned for part three with the styling. And as per usual, stay safe and stay blessed. See y'all in my next video. Ciao. Oh,